Okay, so my thoughts on a Sunday morning. The things about yourself that you don't accept will always continue to chip away at your confidence, cause you to self-diminish and shy away from opportunities, and there will always be something that people will use against you. So self-acceptance, I'll go first. Up until recently, I had porcelain clear skin. But in recent times, I've been experiencing acne breakouts. And it started to make me think about self-acceptance. I'm a person that doesn't like to wear makeup often, but because of the breakouts of acne, I started to wear makeup and think to myself, oh my goodness, people can see that my skin is not clear. Even when they're not staring, I'm thinking to myself, like maybe they're looking. And these are things that I think, acne is just on the surface, but I feel like each one of us has those things about ourselves that we truly don't accept. Now, how do you figure out these things and find them? You find your insecurities in the things that you don't speak to yourself kindly about. You know, the things that fold when you sit and jiggle when you walk. Um, It's the voice in the back of your head that echoes you're not good enough. Perhaps it's something that happened in your childhood. Perhaps it's something that you struggle to learn. Perhaps it's something that you feel that you're just not good enough about. And I feel that a lot of taking back your power and becoming a truly confident person is admitting to yourself the things that you do not like about yourself. Not in a self-diminishing way, but just asking yourself, what about myself do I not accept? What about myself can I begin to accept more? It's having the confidence to make that video, take that picture without the filters, go out without the makeup and saying that this is me, all of me, I love and accept myself. It's having the confidence to not sit with people and begin to explain things that they've not asked you. You know that it's an insecurity when you begin to explain things that people have not asked you, you know. Um, For example, um, it's about making self-diminishing thoughts. You realize an insecurity when you sit in a group of people and you have to perhaps speak down on your upbringing that it wasn't well off you know uh, it was like this you know what i mean so the first step to taking back your confidence and becoming truly everything that god intended for you to be is to accept yourself all of you and to stop, stop apologizing for who you are and really truly to just speak to yourself like you would speak to somebody that you love you know it's walking up and saying esther is beautiful spots scars and everything it's walking up to yourself and saying in every weight in every shape and every size i accept my every curve and my every edge it's stopping to make self-diminishing thoughts and refusing to keep the company of people that you have to diminish yourself around you or people that make backhanded compliments like oh you're pretty for a black girl oh you're pretty for a fat girl um It's about really being deliberate about speaking life into yourself, being deliberate about being positive because we make self-diminishing thoughts and comments very naturally, unprovoked, we say mean things to ourselves, but how often do we actually be deliberate about saying kind and gentle things to ourselves, you know? Like, for example... I have an exercise where I know that I'll spend the whole day probably thinking about and saying negative things. So I just take a moment, even in the car, to say and speak positive and affirming things. Like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Today is a beautiful day. I am confident. I am kind. I am generous. I am thoughtful. You know, and that's a very good exercise because I used to think that all this was just self-help things that don't work but really truly you have to be deliberate about it because whether we like it or not these self-diminishing thoughts will come up and unless you really start to speak to that thing in your life that's taking away the power you continue to diminish yourself so i hope that this week you have truly the confidence to accept yourself to find those things that you diminish yourself about and truly start to live a confident and unafraid life. And I know that these things are not easy all the time because your insecurities and fears tend to pop up at the most inconvenient times, my people. For example, like the whole day you'll be okay. But when you're faced with an opportunity to grow, when you're faced with an opportunity to walk up to to a stage, when you're faced with an opportunity to interact with people, your insecurities will really just show up unannounced and uninvited 
you know so it's in those moments where you really have to be deliberate about it so i found that what particularly works for me with my fears and insecurities because people say oh, esther you're so confident you walk up to people you walk up on a stage and you say these things unafraid it's not that i do it unafraid i'm afraid but i refuse to take allow the fears that i feel to stop me from living the full life and a question that i like to ask myself in those moments when my insecurity is about to take over is what's the worst that could possibly happen yeah i could possibly fail but then what i'll have another chance and i'll do it again and i don't take my fears as speaking to my abilities or my worth as a person because what usually happens when you're an insecure person is that um, when you fail at something those voices in the back of your head start to come back and saying yeah you really are inadequate that's why you probably failed at this thing you know but it's remembering that you are not your mistakes you are not the things that you fall short at and especially that you are not um you are not a reject in society because a lot of the standards that we measure ourselves up against are not even real things, you know, are not even real, real things that we fall short at. It's a standard that society has placed in our heads. For example, like if you have acne, like it's a, it's a flaw, you know what I mean? It's against the standard of beauty that you're supposed to have porcelain skin. But I realize that I'm a human being and I'm not a mannequin and it's perfectly natural for me to go through, to experience and to have these things. It's about things um, such as height being a standard of beauty for men. It's about things such as being light skinned as being a standard of beauty for women. And it's just truly realizing that people come in different shapes, sizes, and abilities, and that you are beautiful, you are unique, and you're enough. I've said so many things in this video, but if you do take away anything that you're going to go away with, um, that you're going to remember is that um, you don't have to live up to society's standards of anything, and you are not inadequate. You are enough for the spaces that you are meant to fill. Have a great week. And I encourage you to do at least one thing every day that you're afraid of. Feel the fear, but do it anyway.